Hey. Hi, I'm Nikki. This is Sam. Hi. Oh my God, that's Cheers. Paris Hilton. It's Kirsten Dunst. I just think we wanted to be a part of like the lifestyle, the lifestyle that everybody kind of wants. The Bling Ring is the latest movie from Sofia Coppola, daughter of the Godfather director Francis Ford Coppola. The movie premiered at this year's Cannes Film Festival and is based on the true story of a bunch of teenagers who rob celebrity houses. I've heard about this news story about these kids robbing celebrities' houses, and it. it um, but when I read this article, it was so fascinating to me what the kids were saying about it and their perspective, and I thought it says so much about um, our, you know, contemporary culture that I, I wanted to, to look at that. Paris Hilton's hosting a party in Vegas tonight. Where does she live? Do you think we could find a way in? I, I don't know. Come on, let's go to Paris's. I want to rob. I remember reading the Vanity Fair article when it first came out and just thinking it was just seemed too absurd to be true. And then, um, yeah, when I heard Sophia was going to make it into a film, I was like, that makes sense. Oh my god! That's a cute dress. Did you get a new dress? Mm hmm. We had so many beautiful things. Ladies? He looks hot. Besides Harry Potter star Emma Watson, the movie features mostly unknown actors. For them, it must have been truly amazing to go from playing starstruck teenagers to becoming stars themselves and walking the red carpet of Cannes. It's a little ironic, isn't it? It almost feels a little wrong. <laughs> I don't think anybody could have expected this. No, absolutely not. It's, uh... It was definitely uh, an honor to walk down the carpet yeah. alone, you know, to be here. This is our first time out of the country, and our first time out of the country is the, the Cannes Film Festival. It feels so weird to be here. I mean, like, we make this movie about celebrity obsession, and then, and then here I am being, being thrown into these suites, trying on designer gowns, making myself look perfect, or trying to. I hear helicopters. We're in LA. Don't be such a little bitch. You're stressing me out. Oh my god. Police are investigating the connection of the Hollywood Hills burglaries. America has this sick fascination with a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. It all comes back to like bad choices. Who you have is your friend. You can't take your dog. But he likes me. This is real. A bunch of a bunch of kids essentially went and robbed celebrities and stole their properties just because why they didn't even have like a good reason or they denied the fact that they did it. I think it's an adrenaline rush, but I think more than anything it was just about trying to emulate a life and a lifestyle and I mean really what what those designer pieces are, they're, they're status symbols which, which give them a sense of identity. Yeah, I really tried to not be judgmental and just to show the experience of what it must have been like for them and, and try to understand what it's like um, being that age nowadays. So, so I didn't want to um, be heavy handed. I wanted it to be fun, but then also try to understand them. I'm a firm believer in karma. And I think this situation is a huge learning lesson for me to grow and expand as a spiritual human being. I want to lead a country one day, for all I know. Let's just get over this phase of like putting up people on pedestals that really don't deserve to be there. Just the cast of Jersey Shore. What are, what are they doing that's so admirable, except being insane and, and what, spray tanning? Check out the true story of the bling ring in cinemas now. Did you speak to any of the victims? I've spoken to all the victims. Really?